I'm Dr. Taylor, and in this video, we'll discuss eight habits destroying your sleep. Habit number one, drinking caffeine. Caffeine is the most consumed psychoactive drug in the world. You heard right. Caffeine is technically a psychoactive drug because it changes how the brain works by stimulating the release of excitatory neurotransmitters or the nervous system's chemical messengers. Caffeine also blocks the effect of a sleep-promoting neurotransmitter called adenosine. This is why drinking coffee can make people feel more alert if they're behind on sleep. And it's true. Studies have shown that caffeine can improve your reaction time and responsiveness during all sorts of activities, like driving cars, flying planes, and even while learning new material. With all those alerting properties, it's not a stretch then to consider that caffeine can make it hard for you to fall and stay asleep. It can delay the timing of your internal clock and therefore possibly the delay the timing of your sleep. Caffeine also decreases the amount of restorative deep sleep that you get at night. Any decrease in the number of caffeinated drinks you consume each day could improve your sleep. You can also limit your caffeine consumption to the morning hours, ideally more than six hours before bedtime. Side note, one study suggests that having caffeine six hours before bed reduces your total sleep time by one whole hour. While these measures are still not perfect, any reduction in the quantity and timing of your caffeine could improve your sleep amount and quality. Habit number two, exposure to blue light before bedtime. Blue light, or the light that comes from electronic devices like computers, phones, TVs, as well as LED and fluorescent lights, can interfere with our sleep cycle. Blue light is part of the spectrum of visible light that has a unique impact on our sleep alertness, and melatonin production. Melatonin is that hormone that's associated with control of the body clock and therefore sleep-wake cycle. Our internal clock, or circadian rhythm, is an incredible mechanism in our bodies that drives us to sleep and wake at certain times. Blue light helps make us feel alert, raises our heart rate, and even raises our temperature. Exposure to blue light in the evening can unfortunately cause our circadian rhythm to become confused and impact our ability to get a good quality night's sleep. Here are some ways to reduce your blue light exposure. Limit the use of smartphones, televisions, computers, tablets, LED lights, and fluorescent lights in the evening, ideally three hours before your bedtime. Wear blue light blocking glasses. Use a bedside lamp that doesn't emit blue light Dim your devices and choose a night mode if it's available, and wear an eye mask if your bedtime partner is using a light. Habit number three, irregular bedtimes and wake times. I know, I know, I'm obsessed with your body clock, but keeping a consistent sleep schedule, even on weekends or during vacations, is so helpful for promoting healthy sleep. First, choose a bedtime that will allow you enough hours of sleep before your scheduled wake time. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine has a great bedtime calculator online that determines the ideal amount and timing of sleep based on your age. I'll link it below. Next, get up at the same time every day. This is important to do even on weekends to avoid what some people call social jet lag. The same is true for vacations. I know it's hard, but try to stay consistent. Then once you're up, Get morning sunlight or use a bright light box to help you feel more awake and align your body clock with your sleep-wake cycle. Habit number four, vigorous exercise before bed. Exercise is great, and those who do it regularly tend to have better sleep. It has been shown to improve your sleep quality, reduce the time it takes to fall asleep, and increase your total sleep time. Most experts recommend at least 150 minutes of exercise a week to start seeing sleep benefits. But exercising vigorously too close to bedtime can actually make it harder to fall asleep. It's stimulating and raises your core body temperature. It's recommended to avoid intense exercise four hours before bedtime. Light aerobic exercise or resistance training may be a better choice for your evening workout. And if you're someone who is seeking to become a so-called morning person, 
consider that morning exercise may have the added benefit of morning light exposure, which again helps to reset that circadian rhythm and get you back on track for a regular sleep schedule. Habit number five, avoiding sex before bedtime. Sex can actually improve your sleep quality. It promotes the release of hormones like prolactin and oxytocin that contribute to an overall feeling of relaxation, calm, and drowsiness. Sex also reduces your levels of cortisol, a hormone associated with stress. So go for it, doctor approved. Habit number six, using alcohol to fall asleep. Alcohol makes you feel relaxed and sleepy at first, but it can actually reduce your sleep quality and the amount of sleep that you get. Even low amounts of alcohol, that's fewer than two drinks for men or fewer than one drink for women, decreases your sleep quality by 9%. How does this work? Alcohol does a few things to your sleep cycle. It delays sleep onset, so it takes you longer to fall asleep. Alcohol also reduces the part of your sleep called REM sleep the period when most of your dreaming occurs, and importantly, when memories are consolidated. Alcohol also increases the number of times you wake up at night. Finally, it increases your risk of sleep apnea or disruptions in your breathing during sleep by 25%. Reducing your amount of alcohol intake can help improve your sleep, but keep in mind even small quantities still have an impact. You can also try to stop drinking at least four hours before your scheduled bedtime. Habit number seven, eating food before bed. Light is not the only thing that's wrapped up in this whole internal body clock dance. So is your digestive system. It turns out eating close to your bedtime has a negative impact on sleep. Eating within three hours of your bedtime leads to a more disrupted sleep period. It can also decrease your metabolism increase body fat, and increase your risk of obesity. Try consuming most of your calories during the day, if possible, and avoid that fridge at bedtime. Habit number eight, not creating a restful sleep area. Paying attention to the temperature, noise level, and light level in your room can improve your sleep quality. Here are some tips. Set your thermostat to 65 degrees, a temperature that's been shown to be ideal for good quality sleep. Use a white noise machine or fan to help reduce noise. Install dimmers on your bedroom lights and use an eye mask. Click here for more content like this. And remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave your comments below. See you next time.